Read BBS, BBS. Devon Haney, the San Francisco treat. The San Francisco treat, Devin Haney. Hey, it's still a uh, victory lap mode, so let's go ahead and give the brothers flowers, shall we? It was a bold, it was an audacious move, announcing that he was vacating all the lightweight titles. An undisputed lightweight champion, he said, fuck it, I'm vacating all of them. Before, before he stepped in to face Regis Rougarou Pro Gray for the WBC 140 pound title, Dev, he didn't care, he said, fuck it. Then he commenced to beat the brakes, the brake pads, the calipers, the rotors, the pistons, and the goddamn dust boots off of Regis Rougarou Pro Gray. Dev, man, it's an uh, impressive performance. A dominant, dominant performance over Regis Rougarou Pro Gray. And some eyebrows raised, mine included. You know, I gotta put a little, put a little more respect on Devin Haney's name. Thus, this video. I'm, I'm shining light on the San Francisco treat, Devin Haney. Whose world is this? The world is Dev's. The world is Dev's. Paraphrasing the Nas song with uh, Pete Rock. The boxing world is currently constituted. 140 pounds and under. It's Devin Haney's, man. We got to give it to him. Now, uh, Dollar Bill Haney, of course, he uh, he got his chest poked and puffed all the way out. All the way out. Talking about Dev is number one pound for pound. It shouldn't be Bud because Spence was depleted making weight. Saying that already at the age of 25, Dev has done more than Floyd did at the age of 25. <sighs> you know, uh, you know. Last I heard, Dev even cured cancer. That, that's what I heard. Word on the street. Correct me if I'm wrong. That's what I, that's what I heard. But yeah, the, the, the world is Dev's. Right now it's Dev's. And options are plenty. Along with dropping the title to... Uh, the undisputed lightweight title. Dev had mentioned possibly going as high as 47, beating Regis, going to 47. Of course, he hasn't made any further uh, moves yet in that regard because he just beat Regis, but so 47 is still out there. That's what I'm trying to get to. And uh, Mario Barrios, viable option. He was knocked out by Tank at 140. Just got to uh, 47, maybe three, two, three, four fights ago. Very viable option for Dev, who looked great at 40. We could easily see Dev, and we'll see Dev at 47 eventually. Why not the next fight against the Barrios, who will be the, uh, should be uh, installed as the WBC welterweight champion. Once they get around the stripping bud or whatever, they're going to do it welterweight. Barrios is in place as the interim champion right now. Or Keith once upon a time Thurman. But Thurman has been mentioning, mentioning talks with everybody. Every other person above welterweight, below welterweight, fucking Tank Davis and shit, you know. Everybody and their mama is mentioned and rumored in Keith Thurman talks. So him and Dev, that's just more of the. I know what I do know is Dev. Any talks of 47 better, better stay the hell away from Jerron Boots Don't entertain that at all at 47, right? No. Getting to more realistic options. Staying at 140 where Dev is a WBC champ. Uh, the WBC has recently come out and let it be known that Sander Martin is the mandatory. Not sure how long they'll give Dev. Usually they give you about 90 days or so to make some decision or start some negotiation, even if you don't go through with it. We'll see how that uh, plays out. Then there's, uh, we got uh, Regis. No, no, we ain't got Regis. We got the Rye guy who slated to fight uh, Roley, the WBA champion. Also, we got Tiafimo Effing Lopez and Subriel Matias in talks for Puerto Rican Day weekend. That'll be uh, in June 
in NYC. But after that, after all that falls through, I fully expect Ryan to beat the brakes off of Rody. Uh, it'll be an intriguing fight, hell of a buildup, but Ryan beats Rody. And if Fimo beats Matias, which I fully expect, because he's going to bring the fight to Fimo. Fimo kind of struggles with the cuties, with the stylists. Guys that bring it to you like a Richard Comey, like a Subriel Matias. Fimo tends to light them dudes up. So I would expect to see Ryan and Fimo and Devin Haney sitting there when all is said and done. Because, of course, Haney, he's going to beat Sander Martin. Sander Martin does good with aggressive guys. Well, Haney's going to outpoint him, going to be slicker than Sander Martin, longer, stronger, faster, younger. And this will mark the second guy, along with Cambosis, who also beat Fimo and Sander Martin, who arguably beat him. So then from there, those are two more feathers in Haney's cap to uh, attract him and Fimo to get into the ring together. I think Dave, Devin uh, should fight Ryan first. After Ryan beats Roley, they'll beat Sandra Martin. Like to see Ryan and uh, Devin Haney fight with Fimo standing over there. I would expect Haney to beat Ryan and then we'll get Haney versus Fimo for all the fucking marbles in one fight. That's how I see it playing out. Let me know what you think. Love, tap, and or bitch slap the like button for your boy. Subscribe, share, and comment. Read BBS, BBS. Black Broke Sugar, Bachelors in Boxing Studies. Television! Fred Sanford of the Fistic Arts. When all is said and done, there's nothing left to say.